Hey guys, TK here. Welcome to another Realm of the Mad God tutorial. Subject this time, events. Or at least half of them, the other three will have a separate video. If you just want to get straight into it, click the picture of the event you'd like to see. Otherwise, we'll start at the top. For Skull Shrines, I highly recommend finding a Bone Dagger. It's extremely effective at clearing the Red Skulls, especially when the Shrine is just spawned. On your initial approach, run from behind one of the pillars to avoid damage, cloak, then move off to the side. You should never, under any circumstances, run into a skull or cube head-on. Always take a diagonal angle and rotate around so the players coming behind won't get you killed. When your cloak wears off, circle back around a pillar and activate the next one. The pillar is very helpful in soaking enemy fire while you're vulnerable, and moving in an arc should avoid most other damage. After two or three attacks like this, the skull will go down and you can claim your loot. Cube gods are a little more complicated. I suggest using the plane walker to approach to reduce the chance of getting slowed by one of the minions, which will basically ruin your run. Once you've moved close enough to damage it, you may want to switch to your bone dagger. The minions rotating around the cube are highly unpredictable, so sometimes you'll get more damage in rather than waiting for them to move away. Try to stay inside the event as long as possible. Again, the plane walker goes a long way towards dodging damage from the brief time you spend uncloaked. If you run out of mana and don't have any potions, find a safe exit route or teleport to someone nearby. At this point, it's a simple matter of waiting to recharge and heading back in. Penarax are possibly the least dangerous of these three events. The greatest danger you will face is not the Penarax itself, but the gods which are frequently found within it. You should use a tiered cloak for Penarax, as you may need to activate it multiple times, depending on the number of gods nearby. Penarax towers must all be destroyed within 15 seconds, or else they will regenerate, spawning large numbers of eyes as well. Move around in a circle, damaging each tower until it is almost dead. Then you just need to travel to each one, and deal the small amount of remaining damage. That about covers it. After getting your basic strategy down, you can begin to try small variations. Find out what works best for you. As always, thank you very much for watching.